that you are uh, mm-hmm. a writer. Yes. You're a producer. Uh-huh. And uh, your first like production was it was it Nate and Jamie? Uh, or did you have stuff before? That? I had stuff before, but I don't count those. You don't count those. <laughs> because yeah. like I was at university, yeah. that was me like learning the craft yeah. and you know not knowing much. So yeah. Nate and Jamie was the first uh, production I'd say was really my baby and like the first the one that really put me yeah, out yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. So, so yeah. So what what about mm-hmm. the the ones before that? Let's just touch on to that. I'll tell you <laughs> a little bit. It was uh, you said it was in uni. Yeah. And was it? Did you do a course on like uh, filming and uh, stuff? Well, or? yeah, yeah. I did a film degree yeah. um, at university, so I made loads of projects while I was at university. Yeah. But and then also outside, like I yeah. was making stuff, you know, at f- local film school that I was going to yeah, yeah. in um, Elephant and Castle with my friends yeah. and stuff like that. So we made loads of films as well. So that was just just. You know, doing what we loved and yeah. really enjoyed and just stuff experimenting like that. Yeah, but like in terms of like my career, I would say it starts from starts Nate from and Jamie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, my independent career. Yeah, career, of course. So. And obviously, the, there must be a criteria to it. Not only just because the university stuff was mm-hmm. your first kind of drafts and stuff. Mm-hmm. But what would you say was the criteria or the, or the thing that made you go, okay, Nate and Jamie is mm-hmm. my first one I'm going to actually classify? Um, I just feel like because that was me actually establishing my brand outside mm. of my day to day job, which yeah. was like at that time a production assistant slash yeah. runner within the TV industry. Yeah. So I knew that I wanted to create projects. So initially it wasn't supposed to be um, a web series, yeah. it was just supposed to be a sketch. So I just wanted to create loads of stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the lead character in it, Jamie, yeah. the guy who plays him called Josh, he's the one who told me a story one day. We were just yeah. out and he told me a story about how he was in Shoreditch and yeah. um, him and his best friend, they saw a girl who he found attractive yeah. and then like he saw her across the road. So he convinced his boy to go into the shop oh, yeah, <laughs> and yeah. try and move to her yeah, and stuff. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah, it didn't go to plan. Oh, and, I, and I was laughing, laughing. I found it yeah. so funny. So I always remembered it. Yeah. And he told me that story in 2014. Okay. And we didn't make it until 2016. And yeah. I just wrote a script about yeah. it. And I just thought, okay, this is great. I got Nate, who is um, played by Samuel Williams. Mm. He's a funny guy. So I knew he would bring the laughs yeah, and yeah, yeah. really take my ideas and to another and level. Yeah, of course. So... Yeah, and that was it. Mm. I put it out, and then that that was it. I was just like, like "Yeah, this is what I want to do." Way, yeah, and yeah. then the reaction was crazy. Like, yeah. loads of people watched it. It got a thousand views so fast. Yeah. People were sharing me um, all of the feedback they were getting from people I didn't know, yeah. and they were like, "No, nah, it can't end like that. We need to see part two and nah, blah blah course. blah." Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I was like, "Okay, well, I should turn this into a show." Into yeah, so course, I yeah. ended up writing five more episodes mm. and yeah and then we shot it over like oh six months or so well, six months yeah because yeah, yeah, obviously yeah. i i saw i'll say all the ones that are on your um channel yes uh, Kishif mm-hmm. booth, uh, and obviously you had a little cameo on one of them or you're just sitting <laughs> on, a, on a table or yes thing. yes yes budget uh, limitations budget were there <laughs> so and then other crew members had been extras in yeah, it yeah, or yeah, yeah. they had to be on the camera yeah. doing their thing so i was like okay i'll just be in the back yeah it, so. but i was going to say it was like mm-hmm. on the budget is like how was it just kind of whatever money everyone had around and then mm-hmm. or were you like sort of the main person and you just told your friend listen this is the script i wrote you want to be a part of it or was everyone kind of chipping in to actually make this thing work? It was all me. Like, it's yeah. my vision. It's my idea. Mm. I own the show. Yeah. Very important. Because they were good the... actors as well. That yes. was the, that's <laughs> what I was confused about. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, own your IP, guys. Yeah. Like, I own the show. I own everything. Yeah. So, it's that's my straight. show. So, yeah. it's like, I was funding everything. People were coming to be a part of it because mm. a lot of them wanted to learn a lot of them yeah. wanted to support me as my friend mm. the actors they also wanted to fill up their resume and yeah. their portfolios show rules and show stuff rules, like that yeah. so they were happy to do it mm. and the guy josh who played jamie yeah. it was you know he found it hilarious that also i yeah. took you know a, a story, story he said and, and made just it made it into, it into yeah, that yeah. so they were all happy to be a part of it yeah. yes nobody was being paid and stuff because no, it was all out of my pocket and we just didn't have the funds yeah, yeah, at yeah. all but it was a great experience That's what it looks like it looks like something 
because mm-hmm. um, my friends, we, <laughs> well, Mo, my other co host, mm-hmm. we used to do skits. Um, yeah, it was very low budget, just, you know, you bring mm-hmm. friends about, and then, like, we had maybe a couple of soft lights, and then mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. we did, like, all sorts, of, but obviously they'll never see the light of day. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, okay. it's it's it, it's in that kind of thing of like, did you feel that sense before you put it out of like doubt in the in the work and 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 mm-hmm. when ah oh, maybe you know what let me not actually uh let me not actually put this out let me mm-hmm. keep it uh, or was it kind of like mm-hmm. I actually feel this one this is the one that I want to kind of go with oh I never liked any of it you know no no (laughs) well i was like we didn't have the budget we didn't have the resources but one thing that i learned and i had to keep reminding myself that you know the content it's all about the content everyone knows we don't have the budget yeah so but to be fair though it looked pretty mm -hmm. good (laughs) i mean (laughs) like you even had the was it a restaurant that you you hired Uh out yeah or a bar or something Yeah. yeah yeah true i mean it was a lot of tough work i always use um Issa ray's awkward black girl mm. web series as an example you know that was not good production quality but yeah. the content was there yeah, it was yeah. funny and it went viral so as long as the content's there then it's fine yeah. you know people expect you to improve mm. and that's what we did each production after that the production quality got better yeah, and better course, and better yeah, and yeah. even to this day in my career my projects always look better than the last yeah and that's what you should be doing yeah, yeah, improvements i think nowadays i don't think people are really like that i feel like because social media is so harsh mm. people aren't gonna respect you if yeah. you're putting and out social media is weird yeah. now. and i think it's it's a little bit easier but at the same time yeah it's just different now when it's i was putting out yeah. things it was it was on the brink of social media becoming yeah. toxic. Yeah, but yeah. on top of that, though, even those kind of like sort of long format mm-hmm. sort of skit stories, mm-hmm. um, like for example, obviously there was Diary of a Bad Man. Mm, yes, um, I forgot about that. Yes. yes yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. But like that, at one point, like those kind of formats of like storytelling in like yes. these short, that was like everything at one point because mm-hmm. um yeah it was it was like not enough things on tv and youtube was becoming this thing of like yeah, yeah. actual good quality was being poured onto mm-hmm. there 